This video is going to show you the functions of each button of the main screen window of HTPOS Smart. Detailed functions of each would be provided in the further videos. Let's start from the top. This section displays the company's name and address. It also displays the login user's name and the cash register. The user can also change the logo of company by going to general settings and settings option. Invoice. This is an auto generated number that is displayed based on its definition in code manager and prefixed with the business location prefix for documents that was provided at the time of defining the current business location. Barcode. User can either scan the barcode of items or just manually type in the barcode to locate an item. Item name. User can type in the first few letter of the item name to drop down a list of items from which the user can select an item. Or just go to the three dotted button next to it to open item manager and select the item. Search code. User can type in the first few letters of the search code to drop down a list of items from which the user can select an item or click on the three dotted button to open item manager and select an item. Current cash register amount. This will allow the user to check the amount in the current cash register. It will display the present business location and cash register number. You will also see the current cash amount, number of checks and credit card slips used with their amount. Transfer document. This option allows the user to transfer cash from one register to another. Change cash register. This option allows the user to change the cash register. Both the options of select location and address will be disabled for the user. The user can only select the cash register and then click on OK button to save the changes. Sales invoice. This option gives you quick access to all the sales invoice made till date. This option is provided in the main invoice so that the user can quickly view the delivered or not delivered sales invoices and change the status if required. Or the user can quickly print a previous invoice by clicking on print original invoice from the tool strip. Receive payments. This option allows user to quickly receive a payment from customer towards any of his pending invoices or can make an advance payment. Selecting this option will bring up the receive payment details. Sales return. This option allows the user quick access to the sales return manager. From this screen the user can perform a sales return in case if the customer wants to return some of the items purchased by him. Sales return manager will also show us a list of sales returns performed which we can view anytime. Change item price. This option allows the user to change the price of an item. It will display the code and the name of the item. The user just needs to enter the new price and the reason for the change. Add notes. The user can add an important information here. Instead of writing it on paper, notes entered will be specific to the logged in user. User can also manage notes by going to setup. Change business location. This option allows the user to change the business location. Once you change the business location, the header information will change to show the selected business location details. Also, the invoice number will change to the selected business location's code format defined. Show purchase price. This option is given so that the user giving a spot discount can check his profit margin between the purchase and sales price before finalizing on the amount of the spot discount to be given. It will bring up the invoice item price screen where you will find all the details of the item. Add spot discount. Spot discount is a discount allowed in addition to any existing offers. This discount can be applied to an individual item or to the final invoice amount or to both. Cancel spot discount. This option will cancel the spot discount that was just made. Calculator. 
This option opens up the standard Windows calculator and allows the user to perform all the calculations. On-screen keyboard. This option will show the on-screen keyboard. This is useful when the user is using a touch screen. Currency calculator. It is added to the main screen for the purpose of Sudasco or it can also be used for carrying out other calculations. This section is where you will see the details of items being invoiced. Once an item is scanned or selected, item barcode, item name, quantity or weight, measuring unit, unit price with tax, total with tax and discount amount will get populated here. Just below the invoice grid, the user will see the offer details section. Here the user will see the name of the offer available for the selected item. If there is no offer, this section will be blank. By default, when an item is scanned or selected, the default quantity 1 gets added. So if you want to make a change in the quantity, click on change quantity. Type the quantity you want and click on change. Remove item. Selecting an item from the invoice and clicking on remove item will remove that item from invoice. Show stock. This option quickly shows the customer the available stock of selected item of the invoice grid in any of its existing go down. If the user wants to see the stock of any other item, he can enter the item barcode or select an item name. Hold invoice. Clicking on hold invoice button while creating an invoice will save the invoice details with invoice status as held and clear the invoice screen. This option will generally be used if the customer starts billing his terms and then realizes he forgot to pick some items. In that case, we can keep the invoice on hold rather than entering all items again. Pick held invoice. This option will open the held invoice manager and show us all the invoices on hold. User can pick any of the invoices on hold and continue with its billing or payment. Cancel invoice. This option allows the user to cancel an invoice currently being worked on. Show tax details. The invoicing section only displays few details of the item. Show tax details displays the additional information of the item like the basic unit price, basic total price, tax name, tax person and the total tax. Hide offer details. This option if selected will not display the offer details on the main screen. Setup. Selecting this option will open the setup screen which will give the user access to a list of other options. We can see a list of options to the left for various purposes. To the bottom of the screen you will see four buttons. Backup database. Clicking this button gives you the option to take a backup of a database and select the location at which you want to save the database backup and give it a name. Clicking on save will create the backup. Restore database. This option allows you to restore the database to a previously backed up database. Before restoring the database, a warning message will be displayed to indicate that user will lose all existing data once it restores the database. About Us This option will allow you to contact us, submit feedback, report a problem, submit functionality request. Feedback This option links you to our email and websites where Feedbacks can be sent to a support team. To go on the main window, just click on the close button. You will see you are again there on the main window. Below the functionality keys, you will see a section with total that displays the invoice total. Discount included, that will show the total discount included in the invoice through offers or spot discounts. Quantity total, which will give you the total count out items that will be handed over to the customer. Customer. You can add a customer's name by just typing the first few letters of the customer's name. After selecting, you will get all the details of the customer here. Sales Executive. 
Here you can select a sales executive's name. They are employees who help the customer to make their purchases. This would be useful in places where the employee gets some commission for the sales made. Express Pay. Clicking on this option will directly save the invoice assuming that the payment towards the invoice was received in cash. Selecting this option will show this message to the user. Also, there will be no invoice printed for the same. If the user wants a print of it, the user needs to go to the settings from the setup. Pay Now. Clicking on this button gets you to a new window. You have to select the mode of payment and type the amount received. If you want a print of the invoice, click on save and print or just click on save. If you want to print an estimate, click on print estimate or you can also cancel the invoice by clicking on cancel. Invoice estimate. This option allows the user